Hello, my name is Scott Snyder, treasurer here at Mayfield City Schools. Recently, you received information from Cuyahoga County officials regarding their reappraisal of your property and its potential impact on your tax bill. Since the schools receive on average 61% of all residential taxes paid, we are sharing the following two and a half minute video in an effort to help explain how reappraisal impacts the school's finances. If after your viewing, you still have questions regarding your tax bill and its impact on the schools, please feel free to call me at 440-995-7231 or send me an email and send that to S. Snyder, which is S-S-N-Y-D-E-R, at mayfieldschools.org. Thank you. Traditionally, property taxes have been a significant source of funding for Ohio public schools, but in 1976, concerns over inflating property taxes pushed lawmakers into passing a law called House Bill 920. This law essentially keeps school tax collection flat by limiting inflationary growth on taxes. Basically, this means that school taxes do not increase when home values increase, so that the total amount collected by the school district on any existing levy stays about the same. There is one exception to this law, something called inside millage, which is the only portion of the tax rate permitted to increase or decrease with valuation. It usually represents a very small amount of funds. What does House Bill 920 mean for schools? It means that the amount a school receives does not increase with inflation, so schools have diminishing buying power over time. Districts work hard to maintain the general cost of doing business with inflationary costs like salaries, supplies, and utilities. But schools do not receive an increase in local funding until a new levy is passed. So. While House Bill 920 protects homeowners from large increases in voted taxes as a result of an increase in property value, it also prohibits school districts from collecting additional revenue. So unless new tax issues are passed, local revenue for schools remains relatively stagnant. Ohio schools often need to renew or replace levies in order to continue providing a certain level of education. Because of this levy cycle, and that is exactly what this is, a cycle, levy collections increase in that first year and then remain flat, while the cost of business typically tends to increase. And because this is a revenue issue, not a spending issue, additional funds must be requested or cuts must be made once the cost of doing business increases to a certain point.